Hi, I'm Adam Clark, Head of PPA and Sustainability Solutions at EDF. Welcome to Wardlaw Wood Wind Farm. It's owned by Community Wind Power out here in West Scotland. We're here today for a very special meeting. Now, when you think of Scotland, you might think about your favourite Scotch whisky. Chances are that whisky was made by Edrington. Edrington are a group of distilleries who make some of the world's most iconic Scotch whisky brands. And they're on a journey to become carbon neutral by 2030. Edrington wanted to do something different with the energy they buy for their distilleries. They wanted to buy renewable wind energy and they wanted to know exactly where it came from. EDF had the solution they were looking for. It's called Select Renewable. In this instance, we match Edrington with this exact wind farm. So what's this special meeting about? Well, today I have the pleasure of introducing Edrington to Wardlaw Wind Farm. And you'll see why this is such a perfect match. Hey Rod, great to see you again. Hi Adam, great to see you too, and welcome to uh, Wardlaw Wood. Well, thanks very much for having us. Really excited about introducing you guys today. Hey Graham. Hi, how are you? Let me introduce you to Rod. Rod, meet Graham. Hi, Hi Rod. Rod, great Good to see meet you. you. How Good are you? you too. Welcome to Wardlaw Wood. Thanks very much, it's great. Graham, how does it feel to be here on site? Yeah, it's great to finally be here and see the size and the scale of these wind turbines. It's so impressive. So Graham, there are lots of things you could do next at Edrington to improve sustainability. Why choose electricity? Well, electricity is a big part of our power usage, so it's really important that we, we, we make as much of the renewable sources that are out here as we possibly can, and, you know, wind's perfect for that. So you briefed your consultant, Energy Edge, to find a renewable product for you. What was on your wish list? First of all, it had to be 100% renewable. Ideally, it had to come from a wind asset, and that's exactly why we're here. Um, thirdly, it really had to be a, an asset that we could point to and say that's where our power is coming from. So Rod, tell us a story about community wind power. How did you go from poultry farming to wind farming? I've got three daughters, and none of which really wanted to get in and follow my footsteps in the egg business. So I looked at other sustainable businesses and 20 years on we've got 300 megawatts and eight operating wind farms all in Scotland. It's great though isn't it, that those first six turbines are now powering the 50 gigawatts that, yeah. that you require, Graham. Yeah, and it perfectly matches what we're looking for as well. For you, Rod, how is Scotland important to community wind power? We're exclusively uh, operating in Scotland, so in Dolry here in North Ayrshire, we funded over a quarter million pounds just on two projects. So we make a big investment. The link up here with Adrington is all about making sure that the power goes to a Scottish manufacturing company so that the whole thing supports the, the wider Scottish economy. And I know community investment in Scotland is really important for Edrington as well. We've been working in Scotland for 60 years now. You know, Edrington was created to make a difference in the community that it lives and works in, so it, it really works well for us. One of the challenges that sustainability leaders often have is convincing other internal stakeholders to change the way they buy energy. Is there any advice you could offer there? I guess keep it simple as you can. Uh, try and match up your values with the, the values of the deal that we're trying to do and just make sure that everyone knows exactly what it is that we're uh, aiming at here and with the help of EDF we were able to put together a really compelling argument. I'm thinking about your plans to be carbon neutral by 2030, how does the Select Renewable product help you on that journey? So um, moving to fully renewable electricity will cut our emissions by about 10 to 12 percent at a stroke so that's fantastic for us, that's a real step change. This is a four-year deal for us and we want to look a good bit beyond four years and start to bring new assets into play. And Rod, for Community Wind Power, how does Select Renewable help you with your business strategy? So I think Select Renewables is a great stepping stone for uh, industrial manufacturing companies uh, like Adrington to go the first step and then thereafter hopefully we can work together in, in looking at a, a new additional wind farm which then brings the jobs and the economic growth back in Scotland. Well guys, thank you. It's been great meeting up here today. It's a real milestone I think for CWP, for Edrington and for EDF. For us it's about helping Britain to achieve net zero. It feels like we've got something to celebrate.